Hi everyone, welcome you again. To, this is Raju Mathu and on my last video I have shown you how can we have table view on screen that will have multiple rows like uh, this is the table view and these are the different rows associated with this table view. So today I am going to describe you how can we add click event to a row or to a table. So like suppose think that uh, these are the rows and on click of these rows I need to do some action like on click of this row 4 or any of one of these rows I need to do some action uh, as per the rows selected rows. So there are two ways to add a click event to a table view like If I want to add a, any click event, I can add here on this particular row. Like, suppose I need to have a on click event here. Like, on click of row four, row number four, I need to show a message. So let's add a on click event. Like, on click. So this is the property name which will which have the on click property so now on click of this table I need to call some function so I need to hit uh, call the function name so let's have a function name show message so this is the function name and definitely this function name should be present on the controller associated with this view so let's define the this function on that controller that is index.js so let's have a function function that show message let's add a simple alert like alert So, so now I hope on click of this rows number 4 you can sh see a alert message that will tell you hi. So let's save it. Let's go for running the app and simulate it. So this is the one way we can display you the or you can add a click event to a table view associated with that with a particular row so if I want to add click event for uh, this row 1 row 2 we can also add a click event uh, for that rows also so this is a table so now let's click on row 4 for for what we have added the on click event so here you can see that our custom function gets called like show message has called and this is the alert message that we have added on that function so let's click on some other rows so as you can see that uh, they are not showing any alert like they are not calling any function as because we did not added any click event to that to those rows so uh, here you can see that say that to uh, suppose there are multiple rows like hundred of rows so there we need to add multiple click event or uh, sorry not multiple we need to add multiple times this click event for all these rows isn't it? so that's not a good practice so let's add a click event on table view tag so on click of uh, on adding a single click event to a table view we can access we can uh, add a event we can um, add a event or we can these rows are rows will behave as a click event which is a good practice uh, as we not uh, not needed to add any click event to these all these rows so let's add it so let's remove this on click even from this function uh, from this rows Add it here. 
just change the function name a little bit. So I want to show the row number or row text on clip of any of the rows. So let's make a function like show row name or row text. There it is. So let's define this function on controller. Now let's add a parameter that may, might be the event. So now the question is, how can we, uh, on click of any of the rows, uh, we can we will display the row text. So in order to do so, let's define a variable called row. Now here I need to assign the row text. So for that also we can call event dot that is I've already written the same function here that row data. data now the property of that row so uh, this event uh, call that click event and row data will call that particular row and then we can also the, uh, then we can um, call or we can access any of the properties that have defined on that row like I will going to call title as because title has the text row text row text that displayed on the screen so I will call this text so here also you can see that this is the title so if I add in some other uh, custom properties we can also call from call those properties from this function here so let's uh, add an alert message to display this row text simulated so here you can see that on a single on click event we can access all the function uh, all the rules properties that uh, generally on click of that particular row we can uh, access that row properties so like here if I click on Rossi hi I am Rossi so here it's display the row text so if I click on this row 2 it will show you the hi I am row 2 so by this way we don't need to add in uh, multiple times that click events to all these table view row so on adding a single time on the table view we can access we can uh, add a click event for all the rows so that's a good practice so by this way we can add a click event on the rows uh, on the table view. So on my next video I will show you uh, how can we have a section header like uh, if I want to display these first four rows on a uh, under a uh, single section and then when the later uh, four or five rows under some other section so that will I will discuss on my next video so up to this